Welcome to Senate Center. Time is winding down the race for the U.S. Senate seat in Nevada. Right now, the score is too close to call. Uh, but first, let's get a brief overview of Nevada history. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Originally part of Utah, Nevada split off into their own state in 1861 due to religious conflict between Mormons and non-Mormons in the area. Gold was found in 1859 in the area, which led to Nevada being a passageway en route to California during the gold rush. The same hunt for new opportunities in the state applies today. Gold mining, as well as other mining, and gambling make up much of the economic revenue today. Back to you, Alex. Thank you, Greta, for that crucial bit of context. Now let's go to Zach for candidate profiles. Thank you, Alex. Uh, first, we'll start with Senator Reed, who started out as a lawyer and became lieutenant governor of the state of Nevada. He's now currently in his fourth term as a senator and is looking for his fifth. Uh, and his economic policies uh, include uh, using government funds to create jobs and invest in businesses. Uh, he also, in his health care, wants a fiscally responsible health insurance plan. He won his primary with a huge landslide victory. Sharon Angle, on the other hand, started out as a teacher, became a member of the Nevada State Assembly, then came in a come-from-behind victory over Sue Loudon became the candidate for Senate. Uh, in health care, she wants, she's against the Obama health care plan. And in economics, she is in favor of tax cuts to provide money to, for individual investors to invest in the economy. Back to you, Alex. Thank you, Zach. Now let's go to Nishant for some statistics about the race. Thank you, Alex. Nevada has a fairly diverse population. According to the New York Times, 58% of Nevadans are Caucasian, while 7.1% are African American, 24.9% are Hispanic, and 5.9% are Asian. The median income of Nevada is above average compared to the rest of the country, but the poverty level and unemployment level are also higher. Recent polls show that this race is extremely tight. As of October 13th, the average of several polls show Angle at 46.4%, while Reed is at 46.3%. The statistic has not changed significantly in the past month. The New York Times gives Angle a 55.6% chance of winning, but since neither candidate has pulled above the margin of error, this is still anybody's race. According to Rasmussen, Angle has a 9-point uh, lead among independents in a race with a 43% Democratic enrollment and a 35% Republican enrollment. The close nature of this race is particularly damning to Democrats who ensured double-digit victories both in 2008 and 2004. Now let's do a brief recap of the race so far. On June 8, 2010, Sharon Engel beat out Republican frontrunner Sue, La Sue Loudon to become the Republican nominee for the Senate race in Nevada. Harry Reid won his primary, primary with over 70% of the vote. Meanwhile, in June 2010, unemployment had risen to 14.2%. As of the first quarter of 2010, 10.4% of all mortgages, including a quarter of subprime mortgages, were in foreclosure in Nevada. On June 14, 2010, Sharon Engel made some controversial remarks, such as, we have so much entitlement into our government that we really have, to, that we really have spoiled our citizenry, and said, you don't want the jobs that are available. Sharon Engel, uh, on, was, that was Sharon Engel on unemployment benefits with an interview with KRNO. And la late July 2010, there was a shift in the polls, and Harry Reid started to catch up with Sharon Engel. Now, if the race is too close to call, anything could happen. Now, Aaron will tell us about the big electoral trends in 2010. Thank you, Alex. Big trends in 2010 are the Republicans are shunning the establishment candidates in favor of more extreme ideological Tea Party candidates. There is a highly motivated Republican base and an unmotivated Democratic base. It looks like Obama is having a six-year slump, two years in, just like Bill Clinton. Now back to you, Alex. Now Zach will have the last word and give us our prediction on who will win the 2010 Nevada Senate race. Thanks again, Alex. Due to the fact that the race is statistically tied, we believe Harry Reid will win because of the many advantages to being the incumbent.
long have you had? How long has it been showing the pictures like that? It just, it just and changes its password. Oh, it did? Okay. A rabbit. Is that good? <laughs> <laughs> that cute little bunny. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Do you have any what, what scene are you making? The rolling hills. It's going to be peaceful. <laughs> Those are things. Those are things. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I have a bunny rabbit. Well, my roommates do. Okay. Your bunny rabbit, which is like a half the size of a tree. Okay. Kind of freak me out a little. Really? You get, like, can't tell what they're thinking. They just kind of like. We have, okay, we have a bunny, and then my other roommate just got a bearded dragon. Well, yeah. Like dogs, you I can't cannot know. tell like dog personality. Like, ooh, that dog. Oh, yeah, no, not look for, oh okay. my god. Your turn. Yesterday I saw the <laughs> cutest Minpin Chihuahua mix. Uh, it was nine months. It was so cute. 2010 are as follows. Republicans are shunning the establishment candidates in favor of more extreme ideological Tea Party candidates. There is a highly motivated rebel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Big trends in 2010 are as follows. The Republicans are shunning the establishment candidates in favor of more extreme ideological Tea Party candidates. There is a highly motivated Republican base, and it looks like oh, fudge. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Thank you, Alex. Cool. Big trends in. Just read <laughs> <laughs> 